here this week. And it's just a, I have a, a team of people that help me, um, and I go through and I find things that I like, quotes that I like, or just sayings that I like, and and they put my images on things of the, the Feed Me More Nutrition logo. And again, a lot of that's just spreading positivity, and that's all I care about, spreading massive positivity. And I look at the, the, the positives on it as... Um, that the people that need to see it, see it, and it helps them. And uh, because a big part of my success and happiness has been surrounding myself uh, in my house, and I have them, you know, I got my 10X poster over here. I got a poster over here, laugh more, worry less. It has a bunch of positive, be awesome, you know, live, laugh, love, the just live your dreams. I got a lot of positive things. You know, success is never owned. It's rented and the rent is due every day. I have this stuff all around my house. And the reason, quotes are just quotes. Quotes don't do shit unless you do the work. Uh, quotes are great. And I've, I've heard other people like Grant Cardone does this as well. And he has this stuff around. And I've done this for many, many, many years for a long time. Is because you never, we go through dips. And like, you have moments where you, you know, you're fucking firing at all cylinders and cylinders. And then you have a bad day. And then you just sometimes need to see, just look up and see that 10X or look up. You feel like being lazy, and but you know that you have a lot of work that still needs to be done. And you fucking look up and see that success is never owned. It's rented and the rent is due every day. And realizing that the work that you did yesterday or the week before or the month before or the year before isn't going to do the work for you today. You still got to do the work. So I love having... This stuff around. That's why I put this stuff out for everyone. And it, it sometimes people go, oh, the positive. Like I don't give a fuck about the negative people. Like I don't care. I'm not. I'm not worried that they're gonna like, man, they're right back with all that positivity. Fuck. Like I don't care if they don't follow me. Like I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about social media. I use it for my benefit and to put out stuff and the people that can get positive stuff for my messages. That's why I do it. And that's all I care about. And. Uh, you just really, so that's why it just it, always pushing that content out on that. But one of the ones I saw, and this is kind of ties into all this, is, is a rule number one, fuck what they think. And it's just so true on so many things. And that's why I just, I could speak freely. And I've built myself up to where I'm reliant on myself for my income and for my, for everything. Um, and where I don't worry about what people are gonna think. I just, I'm myself and I live my life. And I, and I always, I try to just be a good human being and, and say what I feel and, and know what I want. I think that's really important, knowing what I want, knowing what we want and just live your life. Because as you guys can all see, no matter what, there's people they're gonna write, they're gonna complain, they're gonna they're gonna talk shit. They're gonna they're gonna constantly voice their opinion in a negative way, those people on social media or whatever, it's usually social media, and it doesn't matter. Fuck what they think. I know what I want, I know what I'm working towards. I just keep doing it. If you've noticed since I've left WWE need with all the bullshit, the negative stuff that any of the stuff that came out. Have I stopped? It would have been real easy to like, oh, I better not talk about anything. I better not, you know, do this. I better, maybe I should stop my podcast because it's, they're going to write about me. And they like, they like to write negative lies. I don't, fuck what they think. They're irrelevant to the goals that I have. And that's the same for you guys. You just got to know what you want. And just keep putting the work in towards it. Every day I just know what I need to keep doing to keep working towards my goals. And I keep doing it. And there'll be some weeks where everything is, is great and amazing. And then there'll be other weeks where I'll be, they'll see a negative headline come out. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of misconstrued. And it, it's not really the whole story. And you know, they read a negative headline and they went, it doesn't stop me. You maybe get a few negative tweets, blocked. Keep moving forward doesn't stop and you just keep going and you don't stop and that's the, the key to anything no matter what you're doing in life fuck what they think the good too guys you got to just know what you want and so and again you do things that work towards your goals and stuff and like it's 
that that's the important thing in, in all of this is in, in knowing and where I can say fuck what they think. It's not like just be a piece of shit and, and do bad things. Fuck what anyone thinks. I'm going to be, you know what I mean? It's no, I have this goal. You're going to have haters no matter what. And I'm just, I'm going to work towards this goal because this is what I'm doing with my life. And I know what I want. You know, I too, I'll see it's the same thing. Like even with wrestling, people be like, Oh, you want to go, you want to, you want to go, you want to just, you're just saying, you just want to go back to wrestling. Who the fuck are you to tell me what, why wouldn't I want to go back to wrestling at some capacity that I've worked my whole life for? But you see what I'm saying? People are going to always try to deter you. Like, like just they, they, no matter what, it's that bucket of crabs. Like, it, 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 it's never going to end. And the key is just to know what you want and fuck what they think. Because those people are going to do that for the rest of their lives. And they're going to die. They're going to die in that bucket of crabs. Mm. You know? And it's, uh, and find the things that make you happy. Do the things that make you happy. Know what you want. Fuck what they think. It's like do the wrestling. I do the wrestling report and I give insight on things from being there and experience and living my whole life in that atmosphere. But you'll have people that they, they know better. They know that's not what I read. That's not my what I think about you because I've read dirt sheet headlines for 10 years and I know what to think because I read articles from fucking retards that write this shit. And that's, and I say that word kindly and that's not doing the people the mentally handicapped people are the, the sweetest people in the world. But these people that write this shit are diseased, poisoned people, just ill intentions and they do it to everybody. The illest, illest intentions. And they don't, they just, these people read it and they, they think they know. They have it figured out. I don't let it stop me. Fuck what they think. Because I know. And you need to know. And you have to have that confidence too in anything you do. And you have to understand that when you do anything and get attention, it's gonna, it comes with it. And you just block it out and you know what you want and you don't stop. I've never stopped because I know that I'm speaking the truth. I know that I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, I'm not. These people, I'm, I'm going to start believing the lies that these people have chosen to believe. Nope. They're lies. If you want to be a dumbass and believe them, go ahead. You're not going to fucking change me. You're not going to stop my goals. You're not going to stop me from what I work my whole life to. I'm going to keep fucking succeeding. I'm going to keep being happy. I'm going to keep on being fucking great. You're going to keep on being a piece of shit probably. Some people will change. Some people will realize, and I've seen it, where they go, I was fucking stupid. I was a piece of shit. And they change. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. But fuck what they think. And I, don't, I, I get people that apologize to me all the time and say, man, I had you all wrong. I don't give a fuck what they think. I don't respond to it. Cool. That's you. That's not me. I could have told you fucking saved you, saved you that mindset five years ago if you just listen. Fuck what they think. Just keep being great. Keep being you. Know what you want. Go fucking get it. What do you want? When you figure that part out, life gets really fucking fun. That's my thought of the week. Thank you guys very much for watching this clip. And to watch full episodes of the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report and Conversation with the big guy Ryback, subscribe to patreon.com backslash Ryback for exclusive videos of both shows. And always remember, feed me more.